Michael Cohen once described himself as fiercely loyal to Donald Trump, the guy who would take a bullet for the president. And up until last summer, the president was still praising him until Cohen started talking to prosecutors. Because a long time ago, he did me a favor. A long time ago, he did me a favor. Their friendship goes back to the 2000s. Michael Cohen lived at the Trump World Tower across from the United Nations and helped Donald Trump win a fight with the condos board. I thought he was really a nice guy. He was very supportive. While Mr. Trump was starring on The Apprentice. Amy, you're fired. Someone who actually needs no introduction. Cohen Mr. began Donald working for his organization. They say, uh, Mr. Trump's pit bull. Cohen says he was close to the family, almost like another son. Hello, everybody. It was Cohen who started ShouldTrumpRun.com before the 2012 election. More than one and a half million people are all begging that Mr. Trump should run for the presidency. When Mr. Trump did run in 2016, Cohen was frequently by his side. The words the media should be using to describe Mr. Trump are generous, compassionate. But at the same time, we now know Cohen was quietly talking with Russians about a Trump Tower project in Moscow. In early 2017, Cohen fiercely defended then-president-elect Trump when asked about Russia. Is there anybody that you know of, that anybody knows, talk to anybody in Russia? No, no, Nobody. there's no relationship. Then in April 2018, Cohen's office was raided by federal investigators. So I just heard that uh, they broke into the office of one of my personal attorneys, good man, and uh, it's a disgraceful situation. At first, President Trump offered support. I always liked Michael. Are you? And he's a good person. But then last August, Cohen's lawyer released a secret recording from 2016 of Cohen and Trump discussing how they could buy the rights to Playboy model Karen McDougal's story of an alleged long-running affair with Mr. Trump, an affair the White House denies. When it comes time for the financing, which will be... Listen, what financing? We'll have to pay you. President Trump changed his tone, tweeting, what kind of a lawyer would tape a client? So sad. And after Cohen pleaded guilty to federal charges in August. Not somebody that was with me that much. In a separate case, Cohen was also charged with lying to Congress about negotiations to build a Trump Tower in Moscow. Michael Cohen is lying. In December, Cohen was sentenced to three years in prison. President Trump tweeted that Cohen made a plea deal to embarrass the president. I did not do it to embarrass the president. He knows the truth. Now, Kate, a lot of people say that Cohen does have a credi credibility problem. So how does he plan on overcoming that? Today? Right. So he says that he lied out of loyalty for all these years. He told ABC that he's angry at himself because he knew what he was doing was wrong. And now he says he's telling the truth and has corroborating evidence that he'll present this morning and that he, Mueller's team, he says, found him credible. But of course, Trump supporters and the president himself have repeatedly said you can't trust this guy essentially once a liar always a liar. Mm.